everyone, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Stephen, and today I'm going to do a walk around video for you of our 2011 Hyundai iLoad van. As you can see in black, really stylish van stands out. When you look at the front, you can see straight away up on the roof, we've got our pipes up there for storing um, copper pipe in. I believe this would have been a plumber's car. Um, having a look at the condition of the paintwork at the front, we've got our nice big headlights there. Looking at the paintwork, being a black car is going to show up a lot of marks very quickly. But we do have some light scratching across the bonnet there. Um, looking at the front bar, the front bar looks to be in really good condition as far as the paintwork. Some minor ch stone chips on there um, th across the bar, but nothing really substantial. As we come around to the driver's side, we see we've got our nice indicator in the guard there. A couple of light scratches on the guard. Looking at our tyre, nice tread on our tyres and the rims, are our steel rims, light scraping on there too. Having a look as we come a little bit further back, a little mark on our mirror there. Nice big mirrors on here. As I said, being a black car, the paint does show up with the marks quite quickly, so we do have some, some scratching on the door um, near the handles here. Bit of fading on our door handle here, and as we come further back, you'll see there is some light scratches across the door. Having a look at the sliding door here, we do have a couple of not what would normally be pimple dents, but they're from the inside, so they've actually popped out a little bit, so you can see them on there. A um, couple of marks down here that are a little bit deeper than the others. Coming further back towards the back, same same thing on the quarter panel. We've got some light scratching, which is what you'd expect for a work vehicle. Uh, having a look down at our rear tyre, really good condition. Having a look at the rim, very good condition too. As you can see from the side with the roof racks, the pipes are the full length. So nice storage, easy to remove too. And you've still got your genuine roof racks up there for putting other stuff on there if you need to. Coming around to the back, with our eye load, we've got our nice big tail lights there, big Hyundai badge in the back of the car. We do have some reverse sensors in the back bumper there for you. As we're looking at a back bumper, you will notice the rear step has flaked a little bit here, so I'm sure with a bit of glue we can get that stuck down. Overall, the back door seems to be reasonably good condition. A couple of light scratches down the bottom here, um, and put the key in my pocket and it's locked the door. Let's. Let's just see if we can unlock the door. Open the back door up. And as you look in, you'll see looking straight through to the front towards the car, we do have our cargo barrier cage in there, which is really good. Have some very well-built shelving units in here too. Adjustable heights, as you can see from the, the screws here. You can adjust the height for the so, uh, sizing of the shelf if you need to. Um, and so we've got our flat shelves on the right-hand side and we have some dished shelves on the left hand side so really good for piping and for a plumber's car or easy to remove as well so as we come around to the left hand side of the car left hand side quarter panel seems to be a bit more a uh, bit better condition sorry than what the passenger side uh, driver side is paint works quite good no major scratching or anything the rear tyre, once again, really good condition, and so is the rim. Um, I have just noticed a couple of tiny little pimple dents there. Um, as we go through, there is one up here, and there's also another little pop-out dent that's from the inside there. Having a look at the door, we've got some minor scuffs there, nothing substantial, and a little bit of um, extra polish on the door handle there. So once again, as I open up the passenger door for you, so you can have a look. Plenty of room in here as well. The step's in good condition. You've got your tie down points in the bottom of the car too. You will see on the inside it has had a little bit of wear and tear um, with the paintwork there. And then as I come further down, closing that door, looking at the passenger door, really good condition. No major scratches on the passenger door. We have our indicator in here on the side too. Looking at the front quarter panel for the passenger side, really good condition. And once again, looking at our front tyre, very good condition, and same again for the rim. Okay, so back around to the front of the car now, we'll have a look under the engine. As you can see, it's a very compact engine bay here. We do have our 2.4 litre petrol engine. 
very well looked after. Having a look, gives you 128 kilowatts of power out of this with a whopping size battery. You'd think that's a bit big for this car. Uh, 228 newton meters of torque, which is really good. All this is coupled with the five-speed manual transmission, so you're going to get an average of 10.1 kilometers per, uh, sorry, 10.1 liters per 100 kilometers. So out of our 90 liter tank, that's 891 kilometers of driving, which is fantastic. All right, now to the inside of our eye load. Starting on the driver's door here, you'll see we've got our window switches, our door lock button, and our mirror controls, nice and easy to use there. Sorry, as the cameraman's having a little trouble getting across to see. Turn our steering wheel a little bit. We'll go to our indicator stalk and our headlight switch, nice and easy to use. And we also have two keys with this car. And down here we've got our illumination panel for our lights for the dash. Um, as we have a look on the left hand side here, you'll notice we've got our wiper stalk with our rear wiper on there. And then coming to our steering wheel, really good condition. Nice and easy to use. We've got our horn right in the middle. We have our mode button, our mute button, and our volume control button for our stereo, and also our channel uh, to change through our radio stations. As we come across to the middle of the car, we'll have a look at our stereo system here. You can see we've got our USB, our auxiliary port there. We've got our CD player at the top, nice and easy to use. And the good thing here is you can see we do have our Bluetooth option there too, so our microphone in the stereo really nice and easy to use. Having a look at our heater controls, very simple, nice and easy to use, as well as our vents to change and our fan control. We have our hazard light button here so we can turn our hazard lights on. And then coming down further, we've got a, a little tray there. As we open up, we've got our 12 volt charge point in there too with our lighter there. Uh, we've got a couple of switches, pop out cup holders, nice and easy to use. Really good, spring loaded to um, hold your cups so it doesn't matter what size you put in there it's going to hold it which is absolutely fantastic too another little plug just there so we can put another switch of some sort there we have our fuel on our right hand door so just our fuel button for the release uh, now you will see underneath here I don't know what this is they have cut a hole in there there for a switch that they've had previously so they may have had a work lamp in the back of some sort and they had a switch there not 100% sure what they've done there. Having a look at the inside, the condition of the car, really good condition. The carpets have been well looked after, the seats too. Now the good thing is we can fold our middle seat down. We've got another cup holder and a little bit of a tray there for our working um, paperwork uh, as far as we go looking around. So as you can see, really good condition inside and out. Okay, so that's our walk around video presentation today of our 2011 Hyundai iLade. As you can see, a great work vehicle already set up with our racks on the top, our, the uh, storage racks in the back, ready to go. If you have any more questions on this car, please give us a call on 9907 and thanks for watching.